of arrowtutors.com and this very short video is going to look at how you can spot a catalyst in a multi-step reaction um, and basically um, a lot of this is, is down to um, your understanding of what a catalyst is um, and you need to know that a catalyst, you've got to remember that a catalyst uh, are used up or catalysts are used up and then be formed in reactions and that's purely what you're looking for in a reaction and remember catalysts um, don't have to appear in a standard equation because they're not actually a reactant as they're being reformed but um, they can actually appear in a rate determining step because catalysts can have an effect on how quick a reaction can proceed so I've got a, uh, an example of an equation here so the equation is A plus E with a catalyst will form G um, and we have a potential mechanism that I've written down on here so um, and you can see there's letters in there that don't always appear in here and some of their new letters are either catalysts or they're actually just intermediates which are used up during the actual multi-step reaction so we're looking for we need to remember this definition up here that's crucial to finding this so we have A now A is one of the reactants in here so A cannot be um, a catalyst so we can discount that completely from there um, if we look at B so B is, um, is actually reacting here with A um, B doesn't appear in here so it's reacting with A um, but if you look you need to try and find um, it's been used up at this point but it needs to be reformed somewhere else and then that's it as a product so you can see later on down here that B is actually being reformed so B could potentially be the catalyst in this case. So I'm going to put this over here. So B looks like to be the catalyst because it's actually been reformed. Um, it's not been used up in any other further step after that, but we'll check the rest anyway just to make sure. Um, here's C here. So C could be a catalyst. It'll only be a catalyst if it's actually been reformed, but you can see along here in the next steps below it, it isn't actually being reformed, so C cannot be a catalyst. Um, we'll go on to D, so here's D, so D's reacting, again it doesn't form as a product lower down afterwards, so D can't be the catalyst. E is one of the reactants, so that definitely can't be the catalyst, and F looks likely to be an intermediate because it's not reformed towards the end. So actually, in this step here, then B is your catalyst. But in the reaction or in an exam they might give you generic letters like this or they might give you an actual uh, reaction just make sure you're looking out for the uh, catalyst being reformed it must be used and then reformed in a later step and that's just that's all you're looking for so you've got to remember that catalysts are used up then reformed in reactions and as long as you can remember that you should be fine bye